an elementary course in synthetic projective geometry by Derek Norman Lamer. Chapter 3 Continued Combination of Two Projectively Related Fundamental Forms Section 55 Point Row of the Second Order Section 56 Degeneration of Locus Section 57 Pencils of Rays of the Second Order Section 58 Degenerate Case Section 59 Cone of the Second Order Problems Section 55 Point Row of the Second Order The question naturally arises What is the locus of points of intersection of corresponding rays of two projective pencils which are not in perspective position? This locus, which will be discussed in detail in subsequent chapters, is easily seen to have at most two points in common with any line in the plane and on account of this fundamental property will be called a point row of the second order. For any line u in the plane of the two pencils will be cut by them in two projective point rows which have at most two self-corresponding points. Such a self-corresponding point is clearly a point of intersection of corresponding rays of the two pencils. Section 56 this locus degenerates in the case of two perspective pencils to a pair of straight lines, one of which is the axis of perspectivity and the other the common ray, any point of which may be considered as the point of intersection of corresponding rays of two pencils. Section 57. Pencils of rays of the second order. Similar investigations may be made concerning the system of lines joining corresponding points of two projective point rows. If we project the point rows to any point in the plane, we obtain two projective pencils having the same center. At most, two pairs of self-corresponding rays may present themselves. Such a ray is clearly a line joining two corresponding points in the two point rows. The result may be stated as follows. The system of rays joining corresponding points in two projective point rows has at most two rays in common with any pencil in the plane. For that reason, the system of rays is called a pencil of rays of the second order. Section 58. In the case of two perspective point rows, this system of rays degenerates into two pencils of rays of the first order, one of which has its center at the center of perspectivity of the two point rows and the other at the intersection of the two point rows, any ray through which may be considered as joining two corresponding points of the two point rows. Section 59. Cone of the Second Order. The corresponding theorems in space may easily be obtained by joining the points and lines considered in the plane theorems to a point S in space. Two projective pencils give rise to two projective axial pencils with axis intersecting. Corresponding planes meet in lines which all pass through S and through the points on a point row of the second order generated by the two pencils of rays. They are thus generating lines of a cone of the second order, or quadric cone, so called because every plane in space not passing through S cuts it in a point row of the second order, and every line also cuts it in at most two points. If again we project two point rows to a point S in space, we obtain two pencils of rays with a common center, but lying in different planes. Corresponding lines of these pencils determine planes which are the projections of S on the lines which join the corresponding points of the two point rows. At most, two such planes may pass through any ray through S. It is called a pencil of planes of the second order. Problems 1. A man A moves along a straight road U and another man B moves along the same road and walks so as always to keep sight of A in a small mirror M at the side of the road. How many times will they come together, A moving always in the same direction along the road? 2. How many times would the two men in the first problem see each other in two mirrors M and N as they walk along the road as before? The planes of the two mirrors are not necessarily parallel to U. 3. As A moves along U, trace the path of B so that the two men may always see each other in the two mirrors. 
For two boys walk along two paths, U and U prime, each holding a string which they keep stretched tightly between them. They both move at constant but different rates of speed, letting out the string or drawing it in as they walk. How many times will the line of the string pass over any given point in the plane of the paths? 5. Trace the lines of the string when the two boys move at the same rate of speed in the two paths but do not start at the same time from the point where the two paths intersect. 6. A ship is sailing on a straight course and keeps a gun trained on a point on the shore. Show that a line at right angles to the direction of the gun at its muzzle will pass through any point in the plane twice or not at all. Consider the point row at infinity cut out by a line through the point on the shore at right angles to the direction of the gun. 7. Two lines U and U prime revolve about two points U and U prime respectively in the same plane. They go in the same direction and at the same rate of speed, but one has an angle alpha the start of the other. Show that they generate a point row of the second order. 8. Discuss the question in the last problem when the two lines revolve in opposite directions. Can you recognize the locus? An elementary course in synthetic projective geometry. This book was written by Derek Norman Lamer, Assistant Professor of Mathematics, University of California. It was published by Gin and Company, Boston, 1917, and is now in the public domain. The text is available for free download at Project Gutenberg, read by Jim Renholt. Programming and illustrations by Jim Renholt, 2020. Corrections and comments are appreciated. Thank you for listening.